The combined pressures of global warming, environmental catastrophes like the Gulf oil spill, and occasional run-ups in the price of gasoline may change us yet. Many of us may live to see the end of internal combustion engines in our vehicles. But all new here at 6, KXAN's Jim Swift tells us about a Cedar Park man who decided he couldn't afford to wait. Walter Yates is a Texas Longhorn fan of the first order. I think the, watching the Longhorn football the games had a lot to do with it. And my wife, is a she's a football fan from way back. I better not say way back. <laughs> <laughs> so when Yates bought a wrecked 1998 Mazda pickup truck to fix up, he knew just what color scheme to choose. But the burnt orange finish is only the beginning of what makes this vehicle special. We're not polluting a bit, and uh, the, there's just no exhaust whatsoever in this thing. No exhaust because Yates transformed the truck using stuff he heard could be had from a company up in New Hampshire. So I got in touch with him, and as the saying goes, before the Lord get the news, I'd ordered some parts. Before what? Before the Lord could get the news. That's pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> the result was an all-electric vehicle that can run 70 miles between charges. Anytime that I drive it that night, I plug it in, and it charges at night. Next morning, it's ready to go. Now, none of this should come as a surprise, because Walter Yates is a man who once flew his own plane deep into the Alaskan wilderness, landed on a sandbar in a river, and got busy. I did go up there in deep into the wilderness and build a log cabin and lived off the land for a year and I did that alone. Why? Well, it's like the fellow said that climbed a mountain. It was there. During that year, Yates even took along a film camera and shot his own documentary about the adventure. It all falls back on a discovery that I made years ago and that is that everything that's been done has been done by a human being and I'm one. All you got to do is do your homework. Speaking of homework, Yates did that Alaska thing 30 years ago when he was 55. So a little arithmetic will tell you he created his electric truck at the age of 85. Jim Swift, KXAN, Austin News.